Hey, how's it going? I want to make this quick little marketing lesson for you today and it's called the point of sale tactic. So in marketing, you got two different elements. We'll draw over here the first side. So this is the front end and then we have something called the back end. So we'll call it number one and number two. At front, number two will be back end. Pretty sure you guys can see that. If not, let me rise that up a little bit for you. Raise that up. Can you guys see a little bit better now? Let me do it this way. All right. You know what? Let me get my trusty business adventure book. Help us out. There we go. So we have front end and back end. In the front end, this is where you're attracting your customers, right? So we're going to have Facebook. We're going to have content marketing. We're going to have YouTube. We're going to have Instagram. And then we're going to have paid traffic, right? And then from there, obviously, we're all funneling them towards your website and your website should have a lead magnet, right? So if you don't know what a lead magnet is, basically you're offering an amazing gift in exchange for an email. So whether that is a free ebook, a free checklist, a free video course, an audio course, whatever it may be, as long as you're solving the problems of your potential leads and clients. So they exchange, right? Tip for that. We give them the LM lead magnet and they give us the email. Put down here email, okay? That's the first step, right? However, Facebook, content marketing, YouTube, Instagram, pay traffic, whether that is sweat equity or finances, at the end of the day, it's actually costing you money. There's no such thing as free traffic or just you know doing free content. It's money at the end of the day. So big dollar sign. Well, this dollar sign adds up. And at the end of the day, you should be quantifying and tracking every single metrics, every single penny of your business. So what we do is something we call an OTO, a one-time offer. So for example, if it's costing you roughly say $3 to acquire one email, okay, we'll write down one email here. So $3 to acquire one email, we wanna try to make that $3 back ASAP with the OTO. So a one-time offer can be as soon as they opt in on the thank you page, we can offer them say a three, to $7 product. It can be anything. It can be a physical product. We'll put P for product. It can be a physical product. It can be an ebook. It can be a course, whatever it may be. The whole point of the one time offer is we want to recoup the $3 that we use in traffic, right? So I'm just bringing up $3. You know, in our business, we have $10, $20, whatever it may be. You want to recoup your advertising costs. And like, I'm going to stress again. Your advertisement cost is also sweat equity. Calculate the time it takes you to do a YouTube video. Calculate the time it takes you to write a 2,000 word blog. <laughs> I guarantee you it's more than $3 a lead. It's probably, you're, you're probably spending 20 hours on a proper blog and you, I guarantee your time is worth more than $3 an hour, okay? So, your job is then to make up that $3 and with the OTO, say, We'll bring it up with your numbers. Say 100 people see the OTO, and if only 5%, which is pretty good conversion, say 5%, 5 uh, to 10% convert, so let's do the math, right? So 10%, that's 10 people, right? Say we do it seven, right? 10 times seven, that is 70. So 10 times seven, that equals $70, okay? So you're getting $70 for every 10 people that enter or that go through your OTO. This is fantastic because what this means is you're recouping that cost. Therefore, on the back end, these customers, whatever they purchase is a net positive return. Your responsibility on the front end is to completely recoup all your marketing costs. You shouldn't be in the negative over here. It should be positive. So whether they buy something that's $1 or whether they buy something that's $1,000, it's a profit towards your business. And if you look at your business, if your business doesn't have a front end like this and a back end, then go back to the drawing board because I see a lot of times out there, people are just spending money on Facebook ads, $500 here, $1,000 there. Well, at the end of the day, they don't even actually have a system. They think it's all about getting emails and getting, that's not, that, that's not how you actually build a proper machine as Ryan Dice would say. So I want you to use this. I want you to figure out exactly first how much it costs you with pay traffic and content marketing, break down the hours, then figure out what can you offer in the OTO, calculate the conversion rates, you know, so create your sales pages, figure out exactly what you're making, and then hopefully 
you're gonna be at zero net neutral, which is awesome, or even better, you're actually pulling a profit over here. Then in the back end with your sales funnel, it's all good, baby. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great night.